By now, you've probably seen the Garcia capsule that we created for our friend Troy here. I'm getting a lot of questions about the fit, so I'm going to break down how we did Troy's fittings. The first thing to know is that Articles of Style, we offer two different types of fit for all the garments. Uh, the first is ready to wear, where you choose from an extended range of sizes and we make the garment in those sizes. The second is our bespoke fitting process, and this is what we're more known for, where we make you a custom made try on garment out of a scrap fabric, send that to you and review that with you to make adjustments, make sure we nail your preferences, and then make the final garments. Now for the people that we invited to New York for the photo shoot, we didn't have a lot of time, so we did kind of a hybrid approach where we took the best ready to wear sizes for them and adjusted them based on their body measurements that they provided. Now this is a service I do provide, but only through Zoom appointment. The first thing to note about Troy here is that he's a muscular guy. He's a former athlete, he's still in great shape. So his biggest problem is his drop, meaning his difference from his chest and shoulders, which are large and muscular, and his stomach and waist, which are slim and flat. So when he shops off the rack, he has to decide between a size 44 jacket, which is big enough to be comfortable in the chest and shoulders, but way too big in the stomach, or a 42 jacket, which is a little tight and restrictive, uncomfortable in the top, but then fits his waist a little bit better. So what we did is we created a custom ready to wear size for him based on his body measurements. Uh, it's basically the top block of a 44, so the chest and shoulders from the larger size. And then we took in the waist and the seat and the hips uh, to be more like a 42. And we adjusted all the lengths for his height as well, meaning the sleeve length, the button stance, the inseam and rise of the pants, etc. When it comes to muscular guys, guys who have bigger chests and biceps, the armhole and the chest area is really one of the most important parts. You want to have enough room in the chest so the lapels sit flat and don't pop open. And you also want to have a big enough armhole where the sleeve can drape cleanly. You see here how the sleeve is perfectly clean. A lot of bigger guys feel stuffed into the armhole and then the bicep fabric gets all wrinkly and you see all kinds of pulling throughout the sleeves. So you really want to make the armhole and the chest big enough so the jacket sits nicely and then trim it up around the other parts of his body. Now some of you are going to ask what's the difference if we did the bespoke fitting process. So I'm going to nitpick this a little bit. Um, because this is ready to wear, we didn't do the full adjustment. So one thing I see is the front chest is a little bit large. You see a little extra fabric in front of the armhole there. And then also I might lower the button stance. If we were to make Troy another jacket, I would lower that button stance almost two inches. You really want the button placement to be lined up with the smallest part of the torso, which is kind of right here. And the button's just a little bit higher than it could be. One other small thing is I might lengthen the jacket about a quarter inch, three eighths in the front, just to cover that crotch a little bit more. Uh, but ultimately I was really happy with this fit, especially given the timeline. And most importantly, so was Troy. The vest fit really well. Uh, again, if I was nitpicking here, I might make the neck hole a little bit smaller so it covers a little bit more of the collar points. And I might make the front a little bit longer as well. Uh, and I would lengthen the rise of the trouser a touch as well. But overall, really strong. So a trouser fit is something that Troy really struggles with because he's a more athletic guy, a little bit bigger in the seat, and he wants a slimmer pant. So what happens is he often gets a, a pocket flare or the front of his pant looks really wrinkly. So I was really happy with this fit. Uh, again, if I was gonna nitpick this or if we'd have done the fitting process, I may have gone slightly higher in the rise. I may have given him a little bit more room in the hips to make sure that pleat sits perfectly flat. And lastly, at the try-on stage, I might have talked him into a slightly wider bottom of the trousers just because he's so big up top. But again, really good fit here. The field jacket was an interesting piece because we didn't cut it like outerwear. We didn't cut it like a sport coat. We kind of went down the middle. Typically, a coat is a little bit bigger than a sport coat, but he's not going to wear this over another jacket. So we just gave him a little bit more room for a little more layering if he wants to put a cardigan or sweater underneath it. Uh, but a pretty trim fitting field jacket overall. For Troy's shirts, we took the same approach that we took with his jackets, which is a customized ready to wear size. So it's larger in the neck, chest, and shoulders, closer to a size 44. And then it's tapered in at the stomach, which is closer to a size 42. And then we adjusted the sleeve length for his height as well. Overall, really well fitting shirt. The knitwear are the only garments that we don't make made to measure bespoke. Uh, in this case, Troy, who's six foot two, 205, is wearing a size large which fits him really well. All right, so that's a quick breakdown on how we did Troy's fits. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or shoot us an email. And if you want to talk about your own wardrobe or your own fitting issues, you can book an appointment through the link in bio. Peace, y'all.